In the dazzling realm of Hollywood, even the most radiant celebrities can't escape the occasional plastic surgery blunder. From Jennifer Grey to Vivica Fox, these stars have found themselves on the wrong end of the cosmetic scalpel, with results that left much to be desired. Join us as we explore the unfortunate instances where some of Tinseltown's finest inadvertently dented their careers with less than stellar surgical enhancements. Welcome back to Hourglass Channel. Find yourself a suitable sitting position to start your journey today. Anastasia Pokreschuk, hailing from Kiev, Ukraine, embarked on a cosmetic journey that would make even Hollywood stars do a double take. Starting at 26, she dove headfirst into Botox, veneers, and jaw reshaping, but it's her jaw-dropping cheek transformations that steal the show. What sets Anastasia apart is her DIY approach. Forget fancy clinics, she's all about online tutorials and sterile equipment. Call her the MacGyver of fillers. She's so confident in her skills, she could probably give medical professionals a run for their money. But here's the kicker. Anastasia isn't just satisfied with standout cheeks, she's gunning for the title of world's most prominent cheeks. Move over, Kardashians. There's a new cheek queen in town. In a 2020 interview, she shrugged off concerns from doctors like they were last season's fashion. Warning labels? Nah, Anastasia's motto seems to be go big or go home, even if it means her cheeks are visible from outer space. So, here's to Anastasia Pokreschuk, the fearless filler aficionado who's reshaping the world one cheek at a time and leaving us all wondering, is there such a thing as too much filler? Raji Narina Singh, a jack-of-all-trades American, made waves in acting, LGBT advocacy, writing, singing, and reality TV. But her path hit a bump when she landed on the botched show seeking a fix for a face full of DIY fillers gone wrong. Picture this, cement-like substances in her face, breasts, and hips courtesy of an unlicensed cosmetologist. Yikes! But wait, there's more. Raji's heritage is a melting pot of Indo-Trinidadian, French, Afro-Trinidadian, and Polynesian roots. Talk about a cultural cocktail. In the 90s, she embraced her true self as a transgender woman, a journey as colorful as her ancestry. Fast forward to 2005, and she's in Miami getting injections from the Duchess herself, O'Neill Ron Morris. The catch? The filler ingredients read like a DIY disaster, concrete, tire sealant, mineral oil, and glue. Beauty blunder alert. Despite the rocky road, Ragey's resilience shines through. Her story's a reminder to always vet your cosmetic pros and maybe steer clear of the hardware store for filler supplies. Donatella Versace, the fashion icon with a mysterious glow that could rival a disco ball, has sparked rumors about her beauty secrets. With a face smoother than a silk scarf and features sharper than her designs, it's hard not to wonder if she's had a little help from the cosmetic gods. From her slender nose to her plump lips, Donatella's transformation over the years has been as dramatic as a runway show. And let's not forget the shiny forehead that could blind an astronaut cosmetic surgery director Mark Norfolk even dubbed it the Botox Shine. But hey, who's to say? Maybe Donatella's secret to eternal youth is just good genes and a killer skincare routine. Or maybe she's got a whole team of plastic surgeons on speed dial. Either way, one thing's for sure, she's keeping us all guessing, one shiny forehead at a time. If you want to explore the journey with me, please leave number one and watch this video until the end. Interesting things are waiting for you in the video. Nevin Siganovi, the Croatian-style guru, took a wild ride into the realm of cosmetic surgery, but it wasn't all smooth sailing. 
Nope, instead of a nose job. He ended up with a never-ending party in his pants, a persistent erection. Yep, you heard that, right? His third nasal operation in Iran turned into a real head-turner when he had to rush back to Belgrade with an unexpected side effect, priapism, or as we like to call it, the unwanted boner syndrome. Cue the awkward elevator music. But hey, Neven's not one to let a little, um, stiffness get in the way of his quest for perfection. Nope, he's still gunning for that flawless look, determined to go under the knife just one more time. Because apparently, nothing says global recognition like a nose job gone awry. In the meantime, let's hope he finds a surgeon who specializes in noses and not, you know, other body parts. And hey, Maybe next time he'll read the fine print before signing up for that discounted surgery deal in Iran. Cardi B, the queen of beats and bold statements, isn't one to shy away from sharing her plastic surgery adventure. From her music to her Instagram lives, she spills the tea on her cosmetic escapades, mistakes and all. In a recent Insta sesh, she dropped a bombshell. She bid adieu to her butt implants, made of 95% biopolymer. Describing the removal process as a wild ride, she threw up a red flag to her followers, steer clear of this procedure, folks. Turns out, Cardi wasn't always about that booty life. Back in her stripper days, she caved to pressure and got the implants on the cheap 800 bucks in a sketchy basement. Yikes, lesson learned, bargain basement surgery is a no-go. But hey, Cardi's not anti-plastic surgery. She's all about tweaking what you don't like, like her nose job to say say Anara to her dad's schnoz. Just remember, folks, if you're gonna go under the knife, do it right. Safety first, and maybe splurge a little more than 800 bucks. Don't forget to drink a cup of tea to quench your thirst and comment number one to let me know that you are still watching this video. Michael Jackson's plastic surgery journey is as legendary as his music career. From his youthful photos to his final images, the transformation is undeniable. Rumor has it he underwent countless procedures in pursuit of perfection. It all started with a nose job, a trial run with his sister Latoya reportedly acting as the guinea pig. Satisfied with the results, he dove headfirst into his own surgical odyssey in 1979, setting the stage for a parade of transformations. Experts estimate Jackson may have had up to 100 surgeries, including nose tweaks, cheek implants, eyelid lifts, and chin enhancements. Dr. Wallace Goodstein spilled the beans on Jackson's frequent visits, sometimes cramming in a dozen procedures in one go. Jackson's dedication to his aesthetic vision was unmatched. He once said, to indulge in the fruits of my talents for myself would be selfish. His legacy lives on not only in his music, but also in the endless fascination with his ever-changing appearance. It's like watching a real-life metamorphosis only with a killer soundtrack. Katie Price, the British bombshell known for her candidness about cosmetic enhancements, has turned her body into a real-life Barbie dream house. From a subtle start in 99, boosting her bust and tweaking her nose, she's now on a full-blown plastic parade. At 30, she took the plunge and hasn't looked back since. Fast forward to 45, and Katie's transformation is a sight to behold. Plump lips, shiny faces, and breasts that could double as bowling balls, she's done it all. But as the surgeries stack up, so do the concerns. Plastic surgeons like Dr. Scofalax are raising red flags faster than Katie's booking her next nip and tuck. Her yearly breast augmentations, each implant weighing as much as a newborn elephant, have folks worried about her health. Yet, Katie remains nonchalant about her transformation, keeping it real even when others are sounding alarms. It's like watching a reality show where the star's life imitates art and the plot twists are as outrageous as her latest surgery. Don't rush to escape this boring video and forget comment number two.
I will change it if I know you hate it. Sharon Osborne, the queen of cosmetic confessions, has decided to bid farewell to the plastic surgery roller coaster after her last ride left her feeling like a worthy cyclops. Yep, you heard that right. 70-year-old Sharon wasn't exactly thrilled with her facelift results, comparing herself to a scared, one-eyed creature. After enduring a grueling five-and-a-half-hour ordeal that left her feeling worse than ever, Sharon realized enough was enough. Time wasn't on her side, and she couldn't risk another round of surgery, especially with one eye playing peekaboo with the other. But let's not forget Sharon's journey through the plastic jungle. From corrections to rejuvenations, peels to laser treatments, she's tried it all. In her autobiography Unbreakable, she spills the tea on her quest for eternal youth, proving that when it comes to plastic surgery, sometimes you win, and sometimes you end up feeling like a mythical creature. Priscilla Presley, the iconic figure linked to Elvis Presley and business prowess, has kept the rumor mill spinning with whispers of potential plastic surgery. Yet, like a well-guarded secret, she stayed mum on the specifics, leaving us all to speculate. Enter the expert opinions, doctors analyzing her photos from afar, like Sherlock Holmes on the case. Dr. Dave David points to cheek fillers gone awry, giving Priscilla a perpetual squint. Dr. Anthony Yoon hints at a possible facelift, while others suggest she might have dabbled in skin resurfacing treatments with potentially shocking results. And then there's the wild tale of Dr. Daniel Serrano, the rogue cosmetic cowboy peddling industrial silicone at Hollywood parties. Forget Botox, this guy's injections could have doubled as car lube. Talk about taking engineered beauty to a whole new level. So, whether Priscilla's secret lies in cheek fillers or silicone shortcuts, one thing's for sure, in the world of cosmetic mysteries, Elvis's leading lady keeps us all guessing. Heidi Montag, of Laguna Beach fame, learned a valuable lesson the hard way. Freebies can come at a hefty price. Seduced by an offer of complimentary cosmetic surgeries, she ended up taking a plunge into a plastic surgery marathon that she now deeply regrets. In a marathon 16-hour session, Heidi underwent a whopping 10 procedures in one shot. But here's the kicker, she was pumped full of opioids, sending her on an emotional roller coaster during her agonizing recovery. At just 23, she'd already had a bro lift, chin reduction, and enough Botox to freeze time. Now. Heidi's got some sage advice for anyone eyeing the scalpel out of insecurity. Consult the pros in your squad first. Peel back the layers of your feelings before you peel back the skin. While she doesn't knock the benefits of a nip and tuck, she's here to shine a light on the not-so-glamorous side of plastic surgery, the pain, the struggles, and the emotional roller coaster. Because let's face it, the journey to perfection isn't always picture perfect. Please comment number one to let me know that you will be with us until the end of this video. Joan Van Ark, the acclaimed actress, has kept her plastic surgery journey under wraps in public, but eagle-eyed observers can't help but notice the subtle shifts in her appearance over the years. From her natural charm in older photos to a more refined look today, there's definitely been some tinkering in the lab of aesthetic improvements. Speculation runs wild among experts, with facelifts, collagen injections, cheek implants, Botox, and even a bro lift thrown into the mix. But in 2020, some observers couldn't help but notice a certain melting plastic vibe in Joan's facial features. Enter Dr. Anthony Yoon, the plastic surgery sleuth who suggests Joan might have gone under the knife multiple times for facelifts, resulting in a jawline that could cut glass. And let's not forget the absence of wrinkles and that buttery smooth forehead classic signs of a Botox boost and bro lift. While Joan remains tight-lipped, 
The speculation surrounding her transformation is like smoke signaling a fire beneath the surface. Who knows what secrets lie behind that flawless facade? Linda Evangelista, the Canadian supermodel with more magazine covers than you can count, recently had a plastic surgery experience straight out of a horror movie. Enticed by promises of fat loss without surgery, she jumped on the cool sculpting bandwagon, hoping to target those pesky problem areas. But alas, the results were anything but cool. Instead of shedding pounds, Linda ended up with bulges in all the wrong places, her bra area, chin, and thighs. Talk about a chilling turn of events. Turns out, Linda's one in a million, literally. A rare condition called paradoxical lipohyperplasia left her stiff, numb, and stuck with a problem traditional methods couldn't fix. In true supermodel fashion, Linda didn't take this lying down. Nope, she filed a lawsuit against the company, Zeltique Aesthetics Incorporated, aiming for a cool $50 million in damages. Despite the setback, Linda's bravery in speaking out serves as a cautionary tale for anyone considering cosmetic procedures. Sometimes, the risks outweigh the rewards. But hey, at least she's still rocking those magazine covers like a boss. Hang Miyoku's wild ride through the world of plastic surgery is like something straight out of a Hollywood comedy, albeit with a tragic twist. Imagine this, a former model and singer. Hang Miyoku's was on top of the world until she fell headfirst into the bottomless pit of cosmetic obsession at the tender age of 28. With more procedures under her belt than a Kardashian, she jet-setted to Japan in pursuit of the ultimate glow-up. But as Hang Miyoku's addiction grew, so did her metamorphosis. When she returned home to Korea, even her own parents couldn't pick her out of a lineup. Enter the plastic surgeon, who kept the silicone flowing, and when that dried up, Hang Miyoku's turned to cooking oil to keep the party going. Can you say, extra crispy? Despite public sympathy and a few attempts to fix the mess, Hang Miyoku's face still looks like it lost a fight with a deep fryer. Now, she's clocking hours at a thrift store praying for a miracle, a reminder that sometimes chasing perfection can leave you looking like yesterday's leftovers. Meet Pixie Fox, the North Carolina native on a quest to transform into a living cartoon character. At 33, she's undergone a jaw surgery for a smaller face, elf-like ear surgery, and even had six ribs removed. Talk about dedication! But Pixie's transformation journey doesn't stop there. She's had four breast augmentations, multiple lip injections, fat injections under her eyes, eyebrow and buttock lifts, and even eye surgery to change her eye color. With over 20 procedures under her belt, she's like a real-life comic book hero. However, her quest for cartoon perfection hit a snag when doctors Terry Dubrow and Paul Nassif from Botched put their foot down, refusing to perform further surgeries. But Pixie isn't giving up that easily. She's got her sights set on public eyelash implants and a one-of-a-kind genital transformation she calls Baby Flower. Pixie's journey may push the boundaries of beauty standards, but hey, you've got to admire her commitment. After all, who needs reality when you can live in a cartoon world? Meet Zhu Chuna, the 17-year-old sensation from China who took the social media world by storm with her jaw-dropping plastic surgery journey. Starting at the tender age of 13, Chuna embarked on a whirlwind of over 100 surgeries, all in the pursuit of beauty and social acceptance. From double eyelid surgery to Barbie eye surgery, rhinoplasty, breast implants, and liposuction, Chuna spared no expense to transform herself into her ideal vision of perfection. 
Despite facing challenges like memory loss and permanent scarring, she remains steadfast in her belief that it was all worth it. With her parents footing the bill to the tune of over $620,000, Chuna's journey highlights the lengths some will go to for beauty. She even threatened to drop out of school if her surgeries weren't funded a bold move indeed. In a world where self-image and social pressure collide, Chuna's story serves as a vivid example of the lengths people will go to in the pursuit of beauty. After all, who needs textbooks when you've got a new nose to show off? There's nothing better than sipping a cup of tea for an energetic new day and watching our videos. If you agree with the above opinion, please leave comment number zero. Mickey Rourke's plastic surgery saga takes a unique twist in the realm of celebrity facelifts. Unlike the usual Hollywood tale of battling wrinkles and age, Rourke's journey was a knockout punch from his boxing days in the 90s. Before he was lighting up the silver screen, Rourke was throwing punches in the ring. With a record that made even Rocky take notice, he was a boxing sensation. But each victory left its mark two broken noses, a split tongue, and a cheekbone that took a beating. Cue the plastic surgeons, armed with scalpels and good intentions. But despite their efforts, Rourke's face remained a work in progress. Five nose jobs and a cheekbone overhaul later, he's become a real-life game of guess who? In a rare moment of honesty, Rourke admitted to picking the wrong surgeon a facepalm moment if there ever was one. It's a cautionary tale with a punchline. Sometimes, the pursuit of perfection can leave you looking more like a Picasso painting than a Hollywood heartthrob. Carrot Top, the comedic genius formerly known as Scott Thompson, has been lighting up stages with his infectious energy and hilarious performances for years. From cracking jokes on The Tonight Show to voicing characters on Cartoon Network, he's a true entertainer through and through. Now, as Carrot Top hits his 50s, eagle-eyed fans have noticed some changes in his appearance. From slim to muscular and back again, speculation runs wild about whether he's had a little nip and tuck or if it's all just good old-fashioned lifestyle choices. But hold your scalpels. Folks, Carrot Top insists he's all natural, baby. With a wink and a quip, he jokes that if he ever did go under the knife, he'd come out looking even more fabulous. But in reality, he's sticking to his guns, crediting his toned physique to hard work and a killer gym routine. So, whether it's plastic surgery or just some good old-fashioned fitness, one thing's for sure, Carrot Top's comedic chops are as sharp as ever, no matter how he got those killer abs. Step right up, folks, and behold the one and only Jocelyn Wildenstein, a K Cat woman defying beauty norms in her ADS with a look that's perfectly unique. But hold on to your seats, because here's the twist. She swears it's all thanks to her Swiss roots, not a surgeon's scalpel. That's right, Swiss cheese, watches, and now beauty secrets. It's like discovering a hidden treasure in the Alps. But wait, there's more. Rumor has it, Jocelyn might have dropped a fortune on a mega surgery just to get those mesmerizing cat eyes. I mean, who wouldn't want to rock a look like that? But while Jocelyn insists her skin is as smooth as Swiss chocolate, skeptics are scratching their heads. Did she or didn't she? That's the million dollar question. So, folks, it's time to weigh in. Is it all Swiss magic or is there more than meets the eye? Let's hear your thoughts. Jessica Alves, formerly Rodrigo Alves, is a Brazilian-British TV sensation known for her jaw-dropping cosmetic makeovers. Born in 1983 to a Brazilian mom and British dad, she's got a family tree as diverse as her wardrobe. From a young age, Jessica felt a kinship with femininity, 
thanks in part to her love for Barbie dolls. Despite being labeled male at birth, she rocked cross-dressing and doll play like a pro, proving gender is more than just black and white. Puberty threw Jessica a curveball with a hormone imbalance, sprouting breast tissue, and inviting bullies to the playground. But she didn't let the haters stop her shine. Fast forward to today, and Jessica's undergone a whopping 103 procedures, including so many nose jobs, she can't even smell the roses anymore. With over 50 plastic surgeries and a price tag rivaling a small country's GDP, she's the queen of transformation. Despite the ups and downs, Jessica's on a mission for self-expression and identity, proving that in the game of life, sometimes you gotta play with the cards you're dealt and maybe get a little nip and tuck along the way. Simon Cowell, the mastermind behind The X Factor and Got Talent, sent shockwaves through the entertainment world with his recent cosmetic overhaul. But instead of looking rejuvenated, he ended up resembling a character from a horror flick. Even his son, Eric, had a hard time recognizing him. In a plot twist, Cowell decided to undo some of the damage and dial down the dramatic changes. Out went the extreme fillers, and in came a more subtle approach to facial treatments. It's like a reality show where the contestant gets a makeover, but the judges say, maybe tone it down a notch. And that's not all Cowell's embracing the American dream of a healthier lifestyle. From chugging water like it's going out of style to swapping out burgers for broccoli, he's all about that holistic wellness vibe now. Who knew the guy behind the judge's table had a softer side? It's like watching a reality show, but this time the star's journey is all about self-love and hydration. Jackie Stallone, the astrologer extraordinaire and mother to Hollywood heavyweights, spilled the tea on her plastic surgery woes. Describing her post-op face as resembling a chipmunk with a walnut stuck in her mouth, she didn't sugarcoat the outcome. In a heart-to-heart, -heart, Jackie opened up about her recent health scare a heart attack and the heartbreaking loss of her daughter and grandson, both tragedies unfolding under her roof. But Jackie's not one to let life's curveballs slow her down. Nestled in her luxury Santa Monica pad, she's tapping into life with tap dance classes, personal training sessions, and tickling the ivories for two hours daily. Unlike Tinseltown's party animals, Jackie believes in aging gracefully and setting an example for the elders. As she famously put it, turning 50 made me a role model for movie stars because they fear aging and prosperity. But as I've aged, I've only become more popular. Sadly, Jackie left us in 2020 at the ripe age of 99, but her spirit lives on, reminding us that age is just a number and a good tap routine can keep you young at heart.